Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python scripts in Splunk. So that we need one as such. The Python scripts will be run and like whatever the function which you're writing in Python will be executed, like just running a program, Python script. In this video, I'm just going to make it to produce some input data so that that can be seen in the Splunk. So just nothing but a simple program for that that will be available in my git if you want the code you can always go there and look for that without further ado let's just dive into the video another thing we are trying to do here is just scripted inputs so all we are going to do is run a script and then try to take data from that because why we are doing this that sometimes we can't just monitor some files in some servers. We might need to use some scripts to get the data into this plunk. So that's the main use case of this. I've used it. So I'm just going to write a simple code, which is a JSON format, and then you can uh, just see the data coming in inside this plunk. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to cd slash opt, the app that we want to use. For example, if you're using a default app, I used it and I'll just show it. Splunk slash opt slash apps slash to show you. Here you have lots of apps. Any apps you want, you just go in. For example, this is the custom app that I made. I also made a video about that. If you want to see, you can go check that. If you want this script to run in your particular app that you made, you just put the scripts in this app, the custom app that you made. So that what we are trying to do is we're just going to do in search because we're just going to search the app to show you how to plug in data using scripts. I'm going to go to CD search. Okay, that's then we are just going inside the bin. LS. And then now just going to go nano. Then you create a file that you want. So I'm just gonna name it uh, get data dot pi dot pi and then I have I will code which is nothing but just I will show you. This code will be available in your git, don't worry, in my git. Paste. All this will do is just we just create an app ID with random int, just random numbers and then just log in to random numbers and then write it into data and then dumps the data as a JSON. So don't worry, it's just very simple to just close it, paste. And then once this is done, let's come to the Splunk side of it. And then we're gonna run it very good. And then let it load, close it, seconds, I get the data inputs. Then you see for scripts, click add new. And then here you just write the path. Now it is just in the search bin. Then all the files that are available in that, all the files that are available here, you can see it. As you can see, bucket here is the first file and all the files. So we don't want to see all the files, we just want to see get data. That's the file that we created, right? Yeah, get data. And that's it. Sorry. Then this is the interval that you want to run. So I'll just give 10 and then I'll we'll see every 10 seconds the data is pulled down. Then we'll just in seconds. So 10 is good. And then we'll go to next. And here you can just select your source tab, but we need to go to JSON because we're selecting JSON. If you're going for CSV, you know what to do. Just do it CSV. So yeah, perfection. Yeah, if you want to go with create field, but I'm just gonna keep it simple and main will do for me. Oh. Okay, wait. Okay, now 10 seconds. Okay, now we'll go some bit. But we just want to show you the script first. Because you need, you, need, you understand what is going on. Just Python. So it just just it just gives general like this name app. Then that's all. So now it's done, just start searching. Yeah, so for every 10 seconds, 10 seconds is passed, there'll be a data coming in. I'll just search. 
see it will be just keep on coming for every 10 seconds so this is just how you can run your files basically so you don't have to come here every time and just check the code here okay this is the way so if you see this is the way this is how it comes so and you might be wondering why is the this is different because i run it here so this data will not be here this is a different data so this is run and then we can pull up a pull up a table command and then write name this is login system json because we admit this json yeah i think if you are having any problems you just have to do the basic index internal then check for error and you say what's the error in the script i think it's better go to internal and then error i think it's better if you try it here run the script and then try it here and then do it then so if you use scripts python scripts to pull the data inside splunk i hope this was helpful so see you in the next one guys and be safe bye bye everyone